Hi guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to do this style of basket weave stitch. I've seen three different ways of doing the basket weave stitch that I really like and so my plan is to do a series on showing you how to do each kind that I've seen that I like and I like it also in sets of three though you can do it in sets of four. I see a lot of people doing basket weave stitch in sets of four but I just like the way that three looks so that's what I'm going to be showing you today but I'm going to give you the numbers for four if you'd prefer to do it in sets it's actually sets of six because you have front and back posts. So this is a set of six but, six, but you can also do it in sets of eight as well. The multiples of this stitch can be done in two different ways. If you want your basket weave to be in sets of three, then you'll want to do the multiples for you is six plus three. If you want to have your basket weaves in sets of four, then your, the multiples for you will be eight plus three. And what that means for either of them, for the six or the eight, is that you're going to be chaining in multiples of six or in multiples of eight until you reach your desired width. And then once you have, you'll chain three more and you'll be ready to begin row one. I like my basket weave in sets of three. So for this project, I'm going to be chaining in sets of six until I reach my desired width. So. Now I'm ready to chain three. And now I'm ready to begin row one. So for row one, it's the same. For if you're doing sets of six or sets of eight, you're going to start by double crocheting in the third chain from the hook. So count one, two, three, four, and in this fourth chain, sorry, the third chain. So count one, two, three, in the third chain from the hook you'll put a double crochet and this will be the same either multiple and then you want to double crochet in each chain down your row for some reason I can't get into my next chain <clears throat> so go ahead and put one double crochet in each chain down your row and I'll see you when you get done okay for row one we're done for row two you want to chain two and turn. Now you want a front post double crochet on the second post of the row. Your first and last post of your row will always be, it's either a chain at the beginning and a double crochet at the end, but you're always going to have that, that border on the end where you're just going to be having a uh, chain or double crochet. So you'll be working with the second front post and what you're going to do is yarn over you're going to go in before the post and then in the space after the post you're going to be pulling that up because this is a front post so we want our post in front then you'll just do a double crochet as normal we're just working on the post instead of the stitch and you'll want to do that for depending on which one you're doing three in a row or four in a row I'm doing three in a row, so I worked it on the first three front post double crochets. If you're doing uh, sets of uh, eight, then do the next one as well. And then the very next post, we're going to be doing back post. So you'll yarn over, you're coming from behind into the space in front of the stitch. Then you'll go into the next space, pushing that post back. Now we have it on the back of our work here. And again, pull a loop up through that. First, you'll always want to pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, and then you'll double crochet as normal. And you'll do that for the next two to three as well, depending on if you're doing sets of six or sets of eight. So I've got my set of three here, front post, and my set of three back post. And I'm just going to be repeating that down the whole row. Now I'm going to do three more front posts. So again, I'm going to yarn over, go in and pull that post forward, and do my front post. And do that for as many times as I need, which for me is three. Then when you get to the next set, 
come from behind and push that post back. Pull your loop up and then do double crochet as normal. So you're going to continue to alternate this pattern for the rest of your row. And remember, you should end on even, like you're doing your sets of three, 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 and then the very last stitch will be a chain. It's the same thing if you're doing sets of four. You should end on the very last one, and then you'll have a chain here that you double crochet into the top of. Okay, I'm coming to the very end of my row. I just finished my sets of three front posts, three back posts, and now I want to chain, I mean, I want to double crochet in the top of the chain three. Or top of the chain two, sorry. And that will end row two. Okay, for row three, you're going to chain two and turn. Your chain two will count as your first double crochet. So again, you're going to be working with the second post of the row. So not this very first one, but the second one. And you're going to do the opposite of what you did last row. For the first three, we did front post double crochets. So we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to do back post on our first three this time. And you can easily see these are pushed back. So those are back post and these are pushed forward and they're front post. So every time you see this, whether they're up front like this, you'll want to do the opposite. You'll want to pull them back if they're up front. So I'm going to do my three back post double crochets using my first three posts here where I did my front post last row. Okay, and here as you can see they're kind of pushed back so you're going to have to find them. You can pull up the stitch a little bit if that helps. These are your next three. This row we're going to pull them forward because they're back already. So we did three back posts so these next three will be three front posts. And then you're going to repeat that. You're going to be doing three back post, three front post, three back post, three front post. And if you're doing it sets of four, then you know you just add one more, four, four, four. But you're going to be doing the same exact pattern. Wherever you see a front post like this, where they're coming forward, then this is the back post that shows that they're back. So you're just going to have to learn to recognize it so you can do it mindlessly. If you see this, you know you back post. If you see this, you know you front post. From here on out it's really simple and easy and this is my favorite way to do uh, the basket weave stitch. I made a granny square in it just so I could make a really cool looking afghan which I have a tutorial on as well. But this pattern because it shows the previous row the basket weave is awesome to work with variegated yarn or to use solid yarn but change every few rows like I did with my, um, I forget what it's called, yeah, Riptide. I was thinking that that's what it was called but I wasn't 100% sure. So like I did my Riptide hat, if you haven't seen that. This is definitely an amazing way to, to learn how to crochet if you have not learned how to crochet front and back post yet. So those are my three back posts, so my last three here are going to be front post, or the last four for you will be front post, which will leave us the chain two at the very end of our row. So we can find that from the bottom one, two, this is the second one, and you just double crochet on that last one. And it's just going to repeat that every row, you'll chain two, you'll turn. And as you can see now, you have, this is a back post, and this is pushed forward, so you know that's a front post. So you'll work your front post where your back post here is, and then where it's pushing out here, where it's front, you'll push those to the back. So now you're going to start with front post, then back post, and front post, and back post. It's a pretty easy pattern, this particular way of doing the basket weave stitch, because your work itself will show you what you need to do. And it's important for the next basket weave stitch two that I'm going to show you is going to be the same way. 
going to have to learn to recognize your stitches and do what's needed. That way you don't have to try to remember later on. Okay, I'm just a crocheted, a double crochet in the top of my chain two hit in my row. And as you can see, it's really starting to take shape. So again, you'll want to chain two and turn, and then here at the beginning, it's forward, so you know that this means back post. So you'll be doing three back post and then three front post, three back, the opposite of what you see. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to like and share and comment down below. It helps me out so much. Remember that I'm going to be doing this in a three-part series, so you're going to get to learn three different ways of doing the basket weave stitch. And I really hope that you enjoy it, so stay tuned for that. Also, if you want to always be notified whenever I release a new tutorial, just go to my main channel on YouTube and right to the right of the, the subscribe button, you'll see a little bell button, click that, and you'll always be notified whenever I release a new video. Also, if you're wondering what kind of hook this is that I'm using, this is a wooden furls hook. You can find that link underneath the video. And if you're going to order one, I recommend you order one with an extended hook. If not, you're only going to get half the size. Also, I have a Facebook group called Crochet for the Masses where we share pictures of projects that we're working on or have just finished, uh, links to free patterns that we find or just funny things about crochet or ask questions if you get stuck on a pattern or something. Uh, so that's it. Really hope to see you there. You can find that link down below as well. Thank you so much for watching.